Welcome to a horror game that's interactive, I think, in many ways. This is called Do It. A short horror story created by Santiago Examino and translated to English by Alicia L. Alonso. And we're gonna get into it. We are, that's a knife. I hope, I hope this isn't gonna make me freak out. Here we go. You are the protagonist. You decide what to do. Do it. You go down the stairs. The smell of dampness and the blood makes you sick. But you've done this too many times to let that stop you. Every step you take, every step you go down is followed by a moan. But it isn't you who's moaning. One more step and you enter the most absolute darkness. Whispering shadows surround you. The light switch is on the wall next to your fingers do you wish to press the switch or move forward in the dark please make your decision now uh, move forward you move forward in the dark you trip on something you rise your hands in front of you. You don't want to bump into whatever is making those moans. You stop. You can't see anything. Your eyes can't adapt to the soulless blackness. You retrace your steps towards the stairs to the source of light. Now, please press the light. A light bulb hangs from the basement ceiling. It blinks a couple of times as it's too weak to light up the scene that awaits you. A chair. There is a young woman sitting on it. Her ankles and wrists are tied to the chair with leather straps. She is facing away from you. She can't see you. You are very familiar with this situation. You know the woman is gagged. You can't hear her mumbling. Should you approach her? I think so. The woman can't be any older than 30, maybe 20. It's hard to tell because she's bruised, gagged and covered in blood. Her eyes are open too wide, oh my god, which doesn't really help to make her look attractive, but she still is. Should you feel the need, you feel the need to carelessly, to care, caress her hair, should you caress her hair or check her bindings? <coughs> Just the thought of her being gagged is off-putting and covered in blood. I need to check her bindings because she, she needs help. Hard, rigid straps bind the young woman's wrists. They have unmercifully bitten into her flesh. The strap on her ankles look just as firm when you squat down next to her and pull them. You turn around with your back facing the woman. There is a dirty table in front of you with a collection of knives in all the sizes and shapes you can imagine. Oh my god what is this game the imaginable merciful horror that beholds in the next part of the story you 
want to pick up a sharp knife you need to do it so do it no please can we at least talk about this mate you don't need to do this on on I know this isn't very real, but if it was, you don't need to do this. Hold the knife in your hand. You go back to the chair and the woman. She gives you a terrified look. She tries to move her hand as she fights against the leather straps. It's useless to drag it on any longer. You know what you have to do. Uh, do I get too scared to do this? Am I one of those cowards that just hide in a corner because they don't, they want to do something but they can't in the end? Or should I use the knife? Because if I use the knife and I have it, things are done to her that shouldn't be done well, if I click that, it might mean game over. But if I go to that, it means something else. Uh, I'm going to use the knife. Uh, I love horror games, but when it comes to actually killing somebody, that's when I freak out. So yeah, I'm going to use the knife. At first, cutting is hard, but little by little, the straps are torn and the woman's hands are free. She cries inconsolably. You want to remove her gag, but you still don't dare. If she screams, she may alert the man who kidnapped her. You're a police officer. You're armed, but the most important thing you've got to do right now is to rescue the victim. You untie her ankles, she leaps towards you and hugs you. It's time to get out of here. Oh, I thought... I was a murderer. It turns out I'm, I'm a police officer. So the story ain't going to go as I planned. Cool. I thought I got to kill her. Nah. What would happen if I went the other direction in this game? Let's see. I'm going to call me a Coward. The knife in your hands feel like burning. You have picked a thin narrow one you don't want to hurt her a silent screen breaks through the woman's eyes the moment had come if I use the knife I'm gonna press that use the knife and I get the same story okay are you going to stand there watching in that case? I'm going to press that. The woman's desperate eyes are begging you to do it. Should I use the goddamn knife? Use it, go on, do it up, ready, do it, do it all. Should I, what do you want? To wait and see what happens in case, in that case. Uh, Suddenly the woman's eyes are no longer looking at you. They are staring at an indefinite spot behind your head. You don't have time to turn around. You understand your mistake when the killer's knife sinks into your back again and again. You fall down on your knees. Life abandons you. The woman gives you a sad look. You understand. You were here... Oh, you were her, sorry, only hope. You were the police officer who found her and now look at you. You failed miserably and now you are dead. 
What would happen if I press that one and do it? The same. Ah! Oh! Let's go back. Back again. Back. I mean, back. 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 What if I click up that uh, hair? When she feels your hand on her head, she tries to move it away, but turning her neck, you don't understand, or maybe you do, but the situation, even it, but you don't, what? You don't understand, or maybe you do, but the situation, but the situation don't make sense. It's about the situation. Even if you've lived it over and over before, is too much for you. You take your hand away and she bends down her head crying. Oh. So if I go back again, back again, back again, back again, back again. Do it. I gotta say, Santiago Examino, not a bad story, but I thought, I thought I was a killer, I thought, yes, I get to hold a knife, I get to cover, cover a mom in blood and stab her to death, but no. I'm a police officer and I rescue her. I would give that a four and a half out of five because that's really good that's my star rating four and a half out of five if I got to kill her though I'd have gave you top marks but I don't kill people in real life, it's just when it's like this on screen you think oh this will be interesting, do something that you can't do in real life. And yeah, kids, don't pick up a knife and think oh I could kill somebody with that because it's wrong. You're gonna get you're gonna get yourself into trouble in the future because your name will be held until you're an adult, and then once you turn an adult, the police will be be on your doorstep asking you to come to court, and and you'll be sentenced for killing somebody that you didn't mean. So yeah, if you think that was cool. And you liked this story please subscribe and like and when I mean like throw that flying dagger or sharp object or knife into that like button I know that's gonna be impossible but if, a, if you've got something that looks like a like button, even though you press the like button, just do it. It would satisfy my needs. Do you know that American football hand, uh, the thumbs up hand that you take to, foot, to the American football? If you've got one of them that you can stick your hand in make sure your hands out before you do it then throw it and make sure it doesn't backfire on you but other than that kids be safe out there and be aware life is hard and you'll get over it one day and i'll see you all for the next video bye